Hello kids! Let's learn Homeroom Guidance, Quarter 3, Module 8, Knowing Our People in the Community. Today, our learning objectives are the following. After going through this module, you are expected to First, identify the people in the community who can help in taking care of oneself and others. Two, show appreciation to those who can help you within your community. And third, share experiences where health and safety are considered at home and in school. In our community, it's already clear that there are plenty of families within the community. But this lecture is all about identifying the people who can help in taking care of oneself and others. It means we will identify who are the persons who can take care of themselves and at the same time can take care of others like you, like me, like everybody aside from their self. And then, let's try to show appreciation in this people because they take care not just for themselves but for others as well and then let's share experiences where health and safety are considered at home and in school this module is good for period week three and four of the third quarter our total time allotment is 120 minutes and these are the materials that we will need. We need clean sheet of papers. This one could be bun papers, pencil, crayons, newspaper, magazine, or any material that you can see around your area. Introduction. As a child like you, it is good that at this time, you are starting to get to know the people in your community. And it is also good if you learn from these people and their contributions to our society, especially in this time of pandemic. For example, you get to know doctors in the nearest clinic and you learn that they are the ones who take care of the people who get sick. People in the community can be your inspiration in answering this module. So this morning, try to think of the people who can help you in this time of pandemic. Are there teachers around your community? Are there doctors around your community? Are there nurses around your community? You try to think of a person who helps those other persons who are in need of help. Just like all teachers, teachers are always there at school to serve and teach children either online class or modular distance learning. Not just teachers, but there are plenty of other people within the community that I will show you in this module. Before we go through, we also need to consider that you can explore different ways in accomplishing your task just like what you will do in this module. Do not be afraid to experiment or fail. Even if sometimes you fail, you can still learn from it and try to do better next time. With the help of significant adults at home, you can become more confident in demonstrating your skills and later on appreciate how it helps you learn. Now, let's try this. Below are pictures of people in the community. In a clean sheet of paper, write down who among them have helped you within your community. Then, once you're done choosing which one, answer the processing question. So let's discuss first teacher. Could you see a teacher within your community? Very good. Yes, there are teachers everywhere. And how does a teacher help us despite the pandemic? Are they still working despite the pandemic? Try to think of an idea how a teacher helps you even though there's COVID. Are they still working? Are they still showing their service even though it's just limited because of the quarantine? Try to think of the idea and then try to think if a 
teacher is one of the person who have helped you within your community. Next, let's talk about this driver. Have you tried riding with a vehicle? Very good. So, the question is, did the tribal help you in times of your needs? So, this time, think of an idea. How did the tribal can help you in all your daily tasks, especially when you live from afar and your workplace is quite far? How can the driver help you in your daily task? Third, let's talk about this oral aid or someone who is cleaning public areas and is also serving our government. So these are persons who help us maintain cleanliness and they are working for the entire country, for our country. Everywhere in the world there are oral aids. They are the one helping our government improve cleanliness and keep us healthy especially in this time of pandemic so have you seen a person within your community that's doing this work if so think of an idea how did it helps your community when he is doing his job next we have the fireman a fireman is always there even though there's COVID, even though there's no COVID, a fireman is always there. They're always there. In just one beep, if somebody's home is burning, they will rush into our place and try to fix the problem. So how does a fireman help us in our community? Have you seen a fireman within your community? If so, think of an idea how he could help us when we have problems. But we still have four more left. Actually, there are lots of people in our community that could help us. But these are just examples and you can choose from which is your bet that really has helped you in this time of pandemic and not just you who they helped but also the whole community so next we have the doctor and the nurse they are the first and they are really the best frontliners especially since the start of covid instead of being afraid of covid they tried to fix everything. They tried to cure. They tried to save people's lives. And they're doing their job despite they are risking their own lives. So, doctors and nurses has a big contribution in this time of pandemic. So, they are worth appreciated for. Next, we have the guard. And the other side is the police. What's the difference between a guard and a police? How did they help ourselves and within the community? Guards are the ones securing our safety in a specific area. Example, we are inside the mall. Guards are the ones assigned to ensure safety for those clients within the mall. Their service is just limited, but policemen they are the ones serving for the entire area like if you have somebody who is working as a police if somebody tries to call for his help he would be there to rescue and fix the problem now let's try to think from the examples which among them have helped you within your community is it a teacher? Is it the doctor and nurse? Is it the security guard? The policeman? Fireman? Driver? Or who else? Think and draw them in a clean sheet of paper. Once you're done choosing from which, you need to answer the processing questions first why is it important that we get to know the people in our community why is it example look at this image 
in our screen. We have a home in this spot on the left side. We have another home here in the spot in the center. Another home and a blue home in the right side. There are children in this part and also there are children in this part is it important that we get to know who are the people in our community yes it's very important because if we know the people within our community we will also know who can we ask for help in times of need so example we don't know that we have a neighbor who is working as a police and there was a case so if we know the people within our community and we know that there is a person working as a police we could easily run into him and ask for help to ask him to fix the problem so that's one thing that is important why we need to get to know the people in our community also, it's very important because we need to ensure if are we safe within our community. Now, it's just an idea. You think of your own idea on how to answer our first question. Second, how did it help you and your barangay during the community quarantine? So for our question number two, we will base your answer from your chosen person. In our first activity, you need to draw who is the person have helped you and others within your community. So if you draw the nurse and the doctor, then base your answer from your drawing for our question number two. If you draw the nurse and the doctor, try to answer how did they help you and your barangay during the community quarantine were they there to save the lives of the people were they there to cure those who got COVID-19 you try to answer it in your own idea and once you're done answering the processing question let's proceed to this part this is an example of our Activity. So this will be your first activity that we need to submit. Let's say this is the clean sheet of bin paper. You write your name, you write your grading section, and in this spot, you write homeroom guidance. And then, this is an example of a drawing that I choose. Example, I choose a policeman because I can see a policeman within our area and then in this small line short line you try to write policeman and then it can help us identify what kind of person has helped you and others within your community so by writing the name we will find out that your drawing is about a policeman and then answer the processing question so the first question is why is it important that we get to know the people in our community so you write your own idea in the line and next you base your answer for number two based on your chosen person who help you and others within your community. So you base your answer to the person that you choose and draw. So this is your activity number one for homeroom guidance week three to week four. Now let's proceed to this one. Let's explore this. Suggested time allotment is 15 minutes. What do you need to do? Look for a story of a frontliner during the community quarantine. It can be someone that you know, heard about, or read from a newspaper, magazine, or internet. Then, in a clean sheet of paper, draw that person and write your title below. Then, answer the processing question. So, what does it mean? You need to think who can help you in doing this activity it could be your mother sisters brothers father anybody who is there to help you 
accomplish this task what do you need to do so if you have the newspaper you try to look for somebody whose story is about being a frontliner try to draw it in a clean sheet of paper and try to tell something about the frontliner that you wanted to share to your teacher and to your classmates so this will be our processing questions were you inspired by his or her story how example in the newspaper you choose a person who was working as a policeman the policemen are very strict in implementing the core few hours and you were inspired by his or her active service now you tell us share us why are you inspired with his or her story tell us how and why are you inspired number two do you want to be like them why and if you do want to be like them why not third how does she or he help you in taking care of yourself and others in the community so this time you ask your parent or sisters or siblings or anybody who can help you gain some ideas in this activity this is our second activity sheet so this is our new clean sheet of paper so example you have chosen a frontliner which is a doctor and this picture is found in a magazine or a newspaper why is it that teacher posted this picture because i want you to have an idea on what to do in this activity this is the frontliner that i wanted to feature i will put or write some indication what is the picture about nurse and doctors are my front liners or nurse and doctors are my best front liners then once you're done doing that one once you're done pasting the picture or drawing it we will then copy and answer the processing questions the first question are you inspired by his or her story how so you need to answer it in the space provided you also need to answer number two and number three now after answering this one we still have two more activities left let's try to keep in mind this is actually a brief discussion in our module 8 so let's read and think try to apply the lessons learned in your daily life we learn how to take care of ourselves and value others at home and in school in addition to that there are people around us who can help us in taking care of ourselves and others now that we have experienced this pandemic we learn to follow health and safety protocols we have seen people in our community who are called frontliners just like what i've shown you in our activity 2 which is a doctor trying to solve a covid patient then the frontliners are the ones who help us maintain a healthy and safe community they also have become our heroes and inspiration to be able to give and share to what they have done for us below our reminders on how to take care of ourselves and others it means in order for us to help our frontliners we also need to do the following first when at home help your parents in checking the safety of your house and follow stay at home protocols so it is best to stay at home especially when covid surge is quite high next 
when there are free health checkups within your barangays, consider asking your parents or guardians to join to maintain good health within the family. So if there are free checkups, it is your best time to also avail it. So you don't need to pay and you can ensure that they are also working to check your health conditions. Also, we all know that even though there's COVID surge, still teachers are working to educate the children because education does indeed to stop just because of the COVID surge. Now that there are no face-to-face -face classes, always listen and follow the instructions of your teachers, focus on your studies, and keep away from areas that are not allowed for you to go. So as you can see in our picture, our students are listening well while on online class. Lastly, always follow community ordinances. Also, join activities as advised by your parents, teachers, and community helpers that will enhance your knowledge and skills in caring for yourself and others. So look at this family. I guess you could all see that they are wearing face masks. So they follow the community ordinances. However, it is best that we stay at home, especially children are the ones risky of COVID-19. But now that we are at level 2, they can go outside together. But when COVID surge is high or COVID rate is high, we need to stay at home to avoid the virus. Okay. Also, it is time of community quarantine. Our community helpers have become our frontliners and protectors. And we, we are called homeliners. So what do we need to do to become a homeliners? We protect and keep ourselves safe by following the simple protocols such as staying at home with our family. Next, washing and sanitizing our hands. Also, we need to eat healthy food. Fourth, we can do our routine exercise at home. And then, we need to sleep enough so that our body, our immune system is energized. These protocols will keep our body and immunity level on top of our priority to be able to stay mentally and physically healthy in this time of crisis. Now, let's do this activity because I know that you can do it. What do we need to do? We need to copy the solar system design below in a clean sheet of paper. Write down in the circles the names and professions of the people in the community that you mostly interact with. Color and make the best pattern and design for you. You need to take note that the number of circles depends on the number of people you know. So, in this spot, you need to write your own name. And, and this one, the circles that are found in our solar system is limited. It depends on how many people could you write in each circle. So, if you only have four persons who you usually interact with in your barangay, then it should be four circles surrounding your name. So this one is just an example. After doing the solar system design, we need to answer the processing question. How does it feel to be part of the people in the community? Second, how will it show appreciation to those who help you within your community? Now, let's take a look at our third activity sheet. So let's say this is our third clean sheet of paper. You write your name, grade and section, and in this spot, you write homeroom guidance. 
Now, this is our example solar system design. So, the center one is you. Just write your name in the center. And then, if you have seen plenty of people who have helped your community, like if there's a teacher in your community, in one circle, you write teacher and then write the name of the teacher as well. If you have a fireman within your community, you write fireman and include the name of the fireman. If you have a guard, nurse, doctor, and policeman within your community, you write their names and try to tell us how does it feel to be part of the people in the community. How does it feel that you interact with them, with these people that surrounds you? Second, how will you show appreciation to those who help you within your community? So how will you value, how will you show that you are acknowledging the help that is given to you by a policeman, also the doctor and nurse? How will you show that you value the doctor and nurse who have helped you and your community? Would you show them love? Would you show them efforts that you value their hard work? How will you do it? You try to answer our question number two. Try to ask help from your parents so you can have plenty of ideas how to value and appreciate our frontliners.